Hi Tamers! Today we're gonna talk about the first mythical Temtem, Tyrannac. Tyrannac is the only nature fire Tem, which is an incredibly good typing. Defensively, he's only weak to toxic, and offensively, nature and fire cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. His two traits are Intimidator and Frightening. Each of them are a twist on the same idea, turning off all traits or all gear for 5 turns while Tyrannac is on the board. On release, these traits originally only lasted 2 turns, but they were recently buffed, which sort of inspired me to give them a try. Both traits are pretty good, but I think Intimidator is a bit more powerful because a Tem's trait is usually more valuable than the gear it's holding. But, it's worth mentioning that Frightening doesn't prevent Tyrannic from using gear, just everyone else, so it does feel like that trait actually gives him an advantage. Either way, I have a build for each trait like I usually do, and we'll talk about each one's strengths and weaknesses later. Looking at his stats, he's pretty average across the board, except for his speed and stamina, which are atrocious. His move pool is really interesting. He's one of the three Tems that learns Plague, which gives him the same handcuffs utility as Volfi and Amphitir and a spammable 3 prio move makes up for his low speed. He also has access to some neat stuff like Extinction for Doom strategies, Bark Shield for team-wide defensive support, and Roar, which could be useful if we get into a more physical-centric meta again. The biggest issue with Tyrannic's move pool is all of his fire moves are physical, while Plague is special, forcing him to be a mixed attacker depending on if you want to use nature or fire moves. This makes his TVs difficult to build offensively. This incentivizes you to build Tyrannic as a bulky support or a wall. But if you want to play Tyrannic as an offensive core, I have a build for that as well. So let's start out with a build for Intimidator Tyrannic. But, before we talk about techniques and TVs, it's important to talk about Tems that synergize well with the Intimidator trait. Remember, Intimidator shuts off everyone's trait, and while normally this is a bad thing, there are a few Tems that can actually benefit from having their trait turned off. The best example of this is Iridescence Koish and Pigment Inverted Chromion. These Tems rely on Surprise Factor to make plays, where the opponent doesn't know whether they have a reverse typing or not. But usually, once the trait is revealed, the opponent can devise a strategy to deal with them. Oh what? Your Fire Koish is actually Iridescence? Good thing I can bring Tolkien in and one-shot it with Fiery Soul. Well, as long as you have Intimidator Tyranak, you can swap him in to toggle Iridescence off, and suddenly Tolkien goes from counter to countered. As long as you have turns like left on your Intimidator, he can give you a ton of control and make sure your Koish and Chromion matchups are always favorable. Another Tem that could see some play alongside Tyrannic is Anahir. All Anahir has are bad traits, and Tyrannic turns them off, allowing Anahir to function like a normal Temtem. Will this make Anahir broken? No, of course not. But if you really like Anahir, you should try running a Tyrannic with them. And with that covered, on to the build. For moves, you should always run Plague and Ember, because they're your zero hold stab options. Then, your last two slots should be a combination of Flaming Meteorite, Extinction, Roar, or Bark Shield. It depends on your team comp and what role Tyrannic fills on your team. If you want him to be able to blow up a Tem with Meteorite on turn 3, run Meteorite. It does pretty decent damage even without any attack investment. Bark Shield and Roar are really good support options, especially because the added defenses from the ability can help Tyrannic stick on the board for his full 5 turns. And then, Extinction is ideally used right before Tyrannic is going to die. He's one of the three Tems that learns Extinction, so if you have Tems that can remove Doom yourself, might as well run it. As far as gear pieces go, Handcuff synergizes well with Plague, but Tukma Mask and Double Screen are great as well to increase Tyrannic's bolt. Here are the TVs I recommend. Max HP to maximize health, and then 136 stamina TVs allows you to plague twice and a flaming meteorite without overexerting. 330 defense TVs lets you survive two attacks from a max attack Mashuk's wastewater, but you will die to the toxic tick at the end of the turn unless you're using Tukma Mask or Double Screen, and then the rest of the TVs into special defense. This spread doesn't invest into offensive TVs, it just sort of relies on Plague and Ember to whittle enemies down, and then blow them up with a meteorite. I would consider this the standard build, as I think it gives Tyrannic the best chances of staying on the board for multiple turns to turn off enemy traits. But, if you wanted a more offensive spread, I would drop the defense and special defense for special attack. Since Plague is so good and easily spammable, I recommend investing into special attack over attack. 
I fiddled with these spreads a lot, and I couldn't find much value in investing in speed. Even with 500 speed TVs, you won't outspeed Ukama or Oshira's normal prio moves with Plague. It just doesn't seem worth it, especially at the expense of HP or damage. This is also the TV spread I would recommend for a Frightening build. Since Tyrannic will be the only Tem on the board with access to a gear piece, he feels more viable as an offensive core with the Frightening trait. But I don't think I would run Handcuffs. Instead, I would recommend a Stamina gear piece. My favorite being Fake Beard. Plague is an expensive move, and it's pretty much your only option turn 1 and 2 aside from Ember, and allows you to invest those stamina TVs into more damage. But, the most important reason to run Fake Beard... Look how big he gets! That's quite big. Impressive. Anyway, if you do run Fake Beard, here's the spread I recommend. Max HP and Special Attack, and a value point in Stamina will let you use Extinction turn 3 without overexerting, if you want to run it. I think you might as well on Frightening Tyrannic, since they can't rely on Chamomile or Talisman to prevent the Doom. So we went over Tems that synergize well with the Intimidator trait specifically, but what Tems synergize well with Tyrannic in general? Well, any Tems that appreciate nature or fire synergy, specifically Kinu, can be really helpful in keeping Tyrannic alive. It's a bit better with Frightening Tyrannic since you can actually apply the Protector buff to him, but either way a revitalized Sacrifice Stonewall buffer can stretch Tyrannic's lifespan far, and then Tems that learn Stoneball can work well with Tyrannic. Turok is a great example. They're both bulky Tems that cover each other's weaknesses, and Tyrannic can increase the power of Turok's Stoneball and Rockfall just by sitting next to him. Turok isn't especially reliant on its trait, since it only really affects the damage of Rockfall and Tornado, so it can function just fine alongside Intimidator. And then Hellfire users can work with Tyrannic as well, but I probably wouldn't run Hedgen with Intimidator since he's just gonna get slowed down significantly. And that's about it for Tyrannic. But before we end the video, there's one last thing I of course have to mention about Tyrannic. He's very difficult to obtain with perfect stats, and it'll probably be a while before you see a perfect one in an in-game tournament, especially because every Telomere hack you use on Tyrannic is one that you can't use to make a perfect Volgon. I don't want to say Vulgon is better than Tyrannic, but it's easy to see why it sees more play. It's a Tem that can provide synergy to literally any synergy move, making it able to fit on almost any comp. And then Tyrannic, which essentially just makes both teams weaker. Because of this, unless you really like Tyrannic or you have a bunch of Telomere hacks saved up, I wouldn't recommend making a perfect Tyrannic, especially over a perfect Vulgon. But I do hope you give Tyrannic a try on the ladder, where his SVs can be auto scaled, and I hope this video helped give you ideas on how to do it. Thanks for watching! My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content for YouTube. If you like this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day.